첫 번째 표현입니다. 우리가 처음 만났을 때 라는 말을 쓸 때가 있죠. 그때를 생각해보면 넌 뭔가가 달랐어 라고 친구에게 말해본 적 있을 거라고 생각해요. 그 순간 그때를 영어로 the moment 라고 해요. 우리가 처음 만났을 때 라고 하면 from the moment we first met. 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 우리가 처음 만났을 때 from the moment we first met. 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 from the moment i met you. from the moment i met you. 당신을 처음 만났을 때 from the moment i met you. 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 너 뭔가가 달랐다는 걸난 알아라고 하면 i knew there was something different about you. I knew there was something different about you. I knew there was something different about you. From the moment I met you. I knew there was something different about you. From the moment I met you. 너를 처음 만났을 때 너에게는 뭔가 다른 게 있었어. I knew there was something different about you from the moment i met you i knew there was something different about you from the moment i met you i knew there was something different about you from the moment i met you i knew there was something different about you from the moment i met you From the moment I met you, I have tried to make you feel comfortable with us. From the moment I met you, I have tried to make you feel comfortable with us. 당신을 처음 만났을 때부터 전 당신이 우리와 편하게 지내도록 하고 싶었어요. From the moment I met you, I have tried to make you feel comfortable with us. From the moment I met you, I have tried to make you feel comfortable with us. From the moment I met you, I have tried to make you feel comfortable with us. From the moment I met you, I have tried to make you feel comfortable with us. 다음 표현입니다. 누군가를 만나려고 또는 어떤 행사로 옷을 잘 차려입어야 할 때가 있죠. 어떤 일로 옷을 차려입다 표현이 dress up for예요. Thanks for dressing up by the way. Thanks for dressing up by the way. 어쨌든 잘 차려입고 와주셔서 감사해요. Thanks for dressing up by the way. Thanks for dressing up by the way. Thanks for dressing up, by the way. Thanks for dressing up, by the way. 친구를 만났을 때 친구가 갑자기 옷을 너무 잘 차려 입고 나올 때가 있죠. 너 누굴 만나려고 그렇게 옷을 차려 입은 거니? 라고 하면 Who are you dressing up for? Who are you dressing up for? And who are you dressing up for, Oliver? And who are you dressing up for, Oliver? Oliver, 너 누굴 만나려고 그렇게 옷을 차려입은 거니? And who are you dressing up for, Oliver? 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 너 정말 그 사람 만나려고 이렇게 차려입고 나온 거야? 정말 믿을 수 없어 라고 한다면 I can't believe you are dressing up for him. I can't believe you are dressing up for him. I can't believe you are 
believe you're dressing up for him. I can't believe you're dressing up for him. 그 사람 만나려고 이렇게 차려입은 거야? I can't believe you're dressing up for him. 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 다음 표현입니다. 남의 일에 끼어들기를 좋아하는 사람이 있죠. 오지랖이 넓다라고도 하죠. 그런 사람을 busybody라고 해요. 바쁜 몸이라는 뜻이겠죠. Mama, Mrs. Winter is a busybody. Mama, Mrs. Winter is a busybody. 엄마, 윈터 아줌마는 너무 오지랖이 넓어요. Mama, Mrs. Winter is a busybody. 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 상관없는 일에 끼어들다라고 하면 meddle이라고 해요. 제발 끼어들지 말아줘라고 하면 don't matter, please. Don't matter, please. Babe, don't matter, okay? Babe, don't matter, okay? 끼어들지 좀 마. Babe, don't matter, okay? Babe, don't matter, okay? Babe, don't matter, okay? Babe, don't matter, okay? Are you really meddling again? Are you really meddling again? 이번에도 정말 끼어들 건가요? Are you really meddling again? 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 이와 같이 끼어들기 좋아하는 사람을 meddler, busybody라고 해요. You are a meddler, a busybody. You are a meddler, a busybody. 당신은 정말 끼어들기 좋아하는군. You are a meddler, a busybody. 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 Stay out of it, or at least get some other busybody to help do your dirty work. Stay out of it, or at least get some other busybody to help do your dirty work. 그냥 떨어져 지내. 다른 참견 좋아하는 사람이 그 지저분한 짓을 할 거니까. Stay out of it, or at least get some other busybody to help your dirty work. Stay out of it, or at least get some other busybody to help your dirty work. Stay out of it, or at least get some other busybody to help do your dirty work. Stay out of it. Or at least get some other busybody to help do your dirty work. 오늘 설명 영상은 여기까지입니다. 스크립트와 연습 문제를 다운받으시려면 아래 설명란을 참고하시기 바랍니다.